What is up friends, it's your boy Oshie again back for another video and for today um, I don't really feel all that well but um, since Itzy's teaser trailer is out for Loco uh, Actually it came out last night, I was just joining the trend party, joined the live but I, I, I looked away when the teaser trailer came out because I had to react to it and I owe you guys that reaction So let's go ahead and check out what's new with Itzy but first, before we go to the teaser trailer, let's just go and review some of the stuff that they have posted reg with regards to Itzy's loco. And by the way, speaking of Itzy and me being a midzy, thank you so much for my cousin Anna for doing this amazing, amazing artwork. And I will be posting this somewhere over there soon enough. Thank you so much. Uh, this was actually a gift from her. With, uh, la uh, with last week uh, when we celebrated uh, our birthday, me and my sister. That's also one of the reasons why I've been inactive for so long because I've been busy. I have stuff that I have recorded. I just have, I just didn't really have the time to edit them because of you know the celebration and also work. So um, everything will come soon. Uh, just give me a few more time. So yeah, let's go with Itzy's local. So they did tease this. Uh, funny enough, they teased this earlier yesterday, which it's not really that someone leaked it. It's kind of like a common thing that, ah, oh, they accidentally leaked it. It's it's a thing. Uh, maybe it's just for me. I've been seeing this happen in movies before and also in K-pop stuff before. So it's it's really not new. Um, I just thought that it was, it, it was actually shocking that, you know, I saw their faces before the teaser actually came out. So yeah. Um, this is what we get for the Crazy in Love and if you've seen the live, you know how it would look like when you stack all the albums together, which I absolutely love. It's also here. Uh, let's just zoom in real quick. So yeah, we have that. I'm really excited to stack it up over there. I swear to God, I can't wait. Um, so we have photo books. Uh, the lyric paper, I actually saw a zoomed version for this. And it seems like we're gonna get 15 songs. I'm not quite sure if that's true. It could be that it would be half of the 15 and the other half would be instrumentals. I, I've never seen Itzy do that yet, I think. So um, I'm holding on to the 15 songs that you know actually songs. So uh, I, with regards to that, I mean it's still a full album so I'm still excited with that. Photo cards, I'm really excited with them. Random two out of everything. I still even haven't gotten to complete the Mafia in the Morning ones. Uh, so, uh, guess who? I mean, I haven't completed them yet. So, um, I, I, I'm still budgeting with the money that I currently have. So, Polaroids. I'm so excited on how this would look like because I don't think I've ever had a Polaroid. The last one I've heard was from um, Icy. Icy was the one with the Polaroids, I think. Uh, I, I didn't get the chance to get even one of those. So, I'm really looking forward for this one. Sticker pack. Super excited with stickers. I'm always excited for them. Oh, TD standing card. I don't know how that would look, but I'm really intrigued by that. Special card set. Um, I think this is the one similar with the ones we've been getting for uh, uh, since Wannabe. Or It's Me, rather. Uh, the big photo card ish things. I, I think that's what the special card would be. Or might be something else. Really looking forward to that either way. Poster. I'm looking forward as to how the poster would look like. Um, I still haven't posted any of my single posters anywhere because I don't really want to. I don't want to use them yet. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to keep them secure. I don't know if I'm the only one who does that. And uh, US only special photo card set. Um, kind of sad that, you know, <laughs> I'm not in the US for this. So uh, anyway, we have our schedule here. So I don't think there's going to be any sort of video teaser. So I won't be reacting to the images that much. It just depends on the content that I would be getting on a specific day but for now since we have got that out of the way let's go with the teaser trailer i don't even think i've i remember them releasing an opening trailer for guess who Ooh. is this how the song would be i'm quite curious 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeji has like the I think the most I forgot what they're called. Uh, freckles. No way. No, no way. It's cute though, but no way. Yuna though. Oh my god, Leah with the glasses is just... I gotta see that again. Ooh. Hey! It's actually quite cool. Ooh. 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 <laughs> I, I actually thought that was the Itzy light ring for some reason. <laughs> it's a ring light, it's not the light ring. Would have been cool if it was the... uh. Light ring. <laughs> this is so cute. And also, that's basically me nowadays, to be honest. Hey! I want to talk about that scene for some reason. I think it reminds me of something. Ooh! Whose vocals are these? Why is it that every single one of them are really, really cute, but then there's Yuno's actually being a bit terrifying? <laughs> Ooh, oh, this this part I've seen in Facebook and in Twitter, and it's as good as it is when I first saw it. I swear. Mm. Like their outfits. Uh, Yuno seems to be the pretty crazy one in, in in this one. I mean, if this concept crazy in love is supposed to like be in a single person it's 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 yuna for the whole trailer <laughs> and also with the outfit that she has right here i think she really has the craziest one although um the person closest to it it's probably cherry in uh ryujin uh god i almost thought this was uh yeji it was actually leah okay wow i'm still not used to leah with the blonde hair but i'm really really ready to getting used to it so yeah, uh, Leah, I actually love her look on this one. It's just so new. I, I, it feels new to me, like, seeing the, uh, in this. It feels like they swap outfits with Yeji for some weird reason. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. It's usually I see Yeji as the one with the sleeveless kind of look. I, I don't know. I mean, I, it's, a, it's a bit of a shocker. And I don't really have a problem with that. It's, it's like they're trying out new things, so... No worries with that, as long as they pull it off. Um, but, you know, my mains, Ryujin and Cheryong. I'm so in love with them, I swear to god. <laughs> oh wow, I'm so excited with this one. There's a lot of stuff in here that really reminds me a lot. I know that um, the producer of this worked on Wannabe and Dala Dala. And that's probably one of the reasons why it reminds me so much of Dala Dala. Like, for example, this last shot over here, like, when they're uh, showcasing them with the whole background, it really reminds me of Dala Dala when they were on top of those um, Kia cars, which is quite nice. It's kind of a throwback at a point. But this is the biggest one that really reminded me a lot of Dala Dala. And it, it's probably because of the editing and the cinematography that they have in this, which I think they kind of lost after Wannabe. So I'm not sure if that's related because of the producer or not, but um, just look at this scene alone and tell me if it, uh, if it does not remind you of Dal Dala. That one. Like the way it's edited to like zoom in to Ryujin, it's like in a rapid sense of zooming in, not really in the smoothest sense of zooming in. Uh, I think that's what differs the eras of Dala Dala and Wannabe to the eras of Not Shy and um, Mafia in the Morning. Although Not Shy and Mafia in the Morning has really big differences with their cinematography, I just think that they're not in the same style as with Wannabe and Dala Dala, which, um, as I said, I really missed because it's been a long time. It's been a year. More than a year, actually, <laughs> since we last saw that stuff. So yeah, I am really excited for this one. So yeah, wow. When they did say that it's as awesome as they said it would be on Twitter and on Facebook, they didn't lie. 
Whose vocals are this though? Th that's really something I really wanna know about. Ooh, the highlights in there, I swear. Also, I'm curious if that song, like, the, if the song is as close to what we're hearing right now, that is intriguing. I don't think I can figure out what the theme would be with what I'm getting at from the teaser. Okay, I, I, with Mafia in the Morning, I was literally thinking, oh, it's a dark concept. It's already dark when I first heard it. With this one, quite intrigued, quite curious, quite excited. How about you? What did you think about this opening trailer from Itzy's Crazy in Love? That's Itzy's first full album. Are you getting the album itself? Are you getting the whole set or just one? You, no need to be embarrassed about it as long as you love Itzy. No need to be embarrassed of how much you spend, how much you actually can spend or how much you just support them in any way. We all love Itzy. That's why we're here. So yeah. What did you think about this opening trailer? Did you love it? Did you like it? Or did you not like it for some weird reason? Comment it down below and let me know. Also, who do you think is gonna be your bias in this era? Comment it down below and let me know. Also, share this with your friends and subscribe if you are new because, you know, it goes a long way to know that people are enjoying my shit. So yeah, see you in my next video. Peace out.